Hi guys, welcome back to 1700. I'm Tash, I'm joined by Victoria and Jacob. And today we've got Velvet Club in here today. They've just performed two songs, Sometimes, and their brand new unreleased song, Vagabond. How are you guys going? Hey, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, we want to ask you guys, we know you formed about early last year, so how's the past year been for the Velvet Club? Don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. It was, you know, it's strange when you start out and you know, everything just seems so new and you like know, starting to get into a groove now. Yeah. Well, I was actually going to ask, do, do you mind if I ask how you actually came together from the start? So how you three started uh, off? So the bassist isn't here right now. Ah. I mean, we lived across the road from each other when we were little kids. Oh. And oh, so nice. knew each other that way. They went to school with AJ. And the bassist and I were in another band with Sam. And then... Huh? Well, follow up question. Do you mind if I ask how you got the Velvet Club? How'd you get that name? Uh, I don't know. We we had like hundreds of names. Oh, did you? A lot of them were just taken or uh, we didn't really like them. We just had like a list and we're just joining them all together. Oh, that's so cool. Because I sort of thought in my head maybe pool tables or something. I thought, yeah. oh, maybe yeah, get a game cool. afterwards. I, I love me some pool <laughs> tables. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it is now. <laughs> 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 We were like jamming as mates for like six months probably, just trying to think of a name before we like even thought about recording a song. <laughs> and then we recorded a song and even then we were like... Oh, <laughs> what, what do we do? Throw a yeah, throw yeah. dartboard, dart, dart in the dartboard or something. Yes. <laughs> so you guys have released a couple single, singles and also a few music videos. Um, what's that process been like for you guys? Has it been pretty challenging? What, you know, what's sort of come about from that? It's been a lot of fun. Like yeah. it's all very new but we've all sort of had to try to have fun with it and like as much as we can, can from it. Um, yeah, our mate uh, recorded the Sometimes music video and that was the first music video he also done. And um, yeah, we got the studio from mate as well. And like, yeah, just so much fun that Pull we had. Hill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has there been any real challenges that you guys have had to sort of face and overcome or has it been a pretty fun experience overall? Um, we like we all work full time jobs. So that's probably been the main yeah. thing, yeah. 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 especially midweek gigs and all that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. no, yeah, real sleepy as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had a few naps before gigs. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask? Actually, I noticed you guys only have three songs out on the music provider I use, but you guys are already selling out you know, bars and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Is that where you guys, so how did that start? Do you guys just start selling out bars or did you start performing somewhere else and someone got your gigs or how did that all go about? Well, I think our group of mates, we're all massive festival heads. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> Same. Like, yeah. you know, they were begging us to just play a gig to start off with and then after that, just like, yeah, pretty much all the mates come down. The like, mates helped yeah, you out. Yeah, right. just yeah. from there, I yeah. guess. So. Oh, we have festival heads too, so you got yeah. three new mates. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, speaking of gigs, actually, how was your show you guys had at the Workers' Club a few weeks ago? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> good? Yeah, it went really well. We were stoked with it. All our mates came down and everyone seemed to have a good time. And, yeah, we had Stoker and Lemon Day supporting. They were both unreal, so, yeah, it was great. Yeah. It went really well. And with your song you played for us before, Sometime, can you give us a bit of a background about it? How it came about? Um, it came about, well most of our songs just come about from us having a few chords and just playing around with it. And yeah, we just kind of turned that one into a song and we started playing it probably like ages ago at the yeah, gigs, like, like a year ago maybe. Yeah. And people just seemed to react to it well at the gigs, so we just went off that. Kept going. Thought we were yeah. that one next. Yeah. Yeah. Broken, yeah. Don't fix it. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. Go for it. Solid. Um, so I was just going to ask as well. So like your sound, I'd say, is pretty uh, unique to what's coming out of Melbourne right now. So you hear a lot of like surf rock, indie, slow, sort of that sort of stuff. Um, where do you draw a lot of your inspiration from? Uh, we're all kind of in the same area, but all a little bit different. Like mm. Aiden, again, the bass is not here. <laughs> He'll be watching yeah. this. And, uh, he be watching this and be hating it. <laughs> yeah, he's more into kind of like not his heavier stuff, but kind of more like punky kind of that, that kind of vibe. And yeah. Then, I don't know. These two probably go a bit more like the electronic side than I do, but I'll just try and sit in the middle a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's really different. We kind of just um, every song comes about quite differently because of what we're interested in, I reckon. Mm. But yeah, it all kind of comes together to whatever the 
Ja, vi sitter i sådana gånger. Ja, det är en bra liten recipe. Mixture of everything. Ja, men det är en bra ting att ha i den här kitchen. Ja, det är en bra ting. Vi har också bra ting att ha i den här kitchen. Ingen har verkligen tagit en lead. Just all go with your sort of own thing and at the end exactly. combine it all and go, what do we got here? You know? exactly. And what's working? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, do you mind if I ask, and this is sort of just personal because I find this really interesting. Do you mind if I ask what your parents wanted you all to be when you grew up? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> As your doctorate's coming along. Uh, well, my, my dad played piano. Ah, oh, there you go. So he was very excited when I started playing Same guitar. Enough. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, he probably didn't want me to be a musician, but he was probably <laughs> just like, he wanted me to play an instrument, I guess. So that was, good. That was a good start. Yeah, I don't know. Really. <laughs> just do something, man. Just do something, yeah. yeah just be happy, man. Just be happy, that's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 see, that's mm. the true, I think that's the real goal in life. You Perfect. <laughs> well, we're going to go to a track now, but stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have more of the Velvet Club soon.